Hello everyone, Wildside here with the uh, first installment on, on how to build the Wildside Simple Hot End. Uh, in this video I'll just be covering uh, what the components and tools required are and then we'll move on into actual fabrication. So the first piece in our puzzle is the PTFE tube. This is half inch tube or 12 and a half millimeters approximately. It really depends on uh, what the uh, size of the couplings are in your nick of the woods. Um, here in the US uh, the big end for this is roughly half an inch and um, the bottom ends are a little bit smaller than a quarter inch uh, so they actually have to be drilled out because the MIG welder tips that we get here are about a quarter inch in diameter. Essentially we'll drill halfway through the small bit here at quarter inch and then we'll use a slightly smaller drill bit so that we can actually place this guy in there and then press fit it by um, tapping on it with a hammer which will have the added benefit of reducing the size of our nozzle considerably. Uh, we have our uh, aluminum, ro uh, aluminum bar I guess you'd call it and this one's probably about half as long as I need it to be so we're gonna cut it down to about an inch or 20 to 25 millimeters and uh, we'll drill a nice big hole through it to uh, insert our uh, brass coupling into. Drill a three millimeter hole, three and a half millimeter hole through the uh, PTFE. We'll also enlarge the back opening here to three millimeters on the MIG welder tip. Uh, right up to the end here, maybe uh, somewhere between half a millimeter and one millimeter from the end. You'll need four lengths of wire for your thermistors and your power resistors. And speaking of which, here's the power resistors that I use. They're from Biche. I get them from DigiKey. They have about 5 ohm, 5 amp uh, values. Uh, you'll need a little tiny set screw that's going to go into the front of the block here. Go into the front of the block and it locks in the uh, brass coupling. And the brass coupling has a little bit of heat sink compound applied to improve the heat transfer. You'll need some Kapton tape, uh, both to uh, protect the thermistor and to secure the resistor and insulate the, uh, the hot end uh, heater block. Um, it just becomes more efficient if you totally wrap it in several layers of Kapton. And by several, I mean like uh, six or seven or eight. Um, You'll need some alligator clips. These are to clip onto the power resistor. The uh, thermistor will be uh, soldered or crimped onto the wire leads so it's not removable. But the uh, heater block you can remove uh, just by removing the clips. And what else? I think that's it as far as materials. Um, there's a few tools around here. We have some uh, Sorted sizes of drill bits from very small up to uh, three and a half millimeters or SAE uh, close equivalents of that. Um, for the uh, copper tip, you'll want to start with very small bits because it's really tough to take out all this material in one shot. It's easier if you just start with a very small bit and work up in incremental sizes up to the size that you need to drill out. Um, you'll need some scissors for cutting Kapton. You'll need a utility knife for forming the PTFE tube in the drill press. Uh, we're going to take off quite a bit of material here on the last 10 uh, millimeters. We're going to take this down to an 8 millimeter diameter that helps it to fit into this smaller neck here on the uh, brass coupling. And uh, it will butt up against the uh, little threaded part of the um, MIG welder tip. Uh, you'll need something to measure with if you care anything about uh, precision. Otherwise, you can just eyeball it. And, uh, of course, you'll need the drill press, which is outside. Um, and that's it for now.